Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new exciting YouTube video here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take you on a little journey that's been a big part of my life for the past one and a half year. It started as a crazy idea where we thought to ourselves, what if we make a clothing brand from the ground up? We're not going to use drop shipping. We want to be involved with our suppliers and control the entire supply chain. We want to know what's going on all the way from the factory to the fulfillment center. Personally, I am a YouTuber. I do have a following on social media, but I do believe that anyone who wants to get started out there with e-commerce be their own boss. In this video, I hope to inspire you a little bit, kick those doubts out of you and just go ahead and follow that dream. It's been really an exciting journey, but I also do believe that every big great achievement starts with the first step. And for us, it started back in February where we're traveling through the Philippines. And we had this wild idea where why don't we just make a brand that we can stand behind and that we can grow a community around. If you're new to me, my name is Martin Solagin. I'm a full-time Norwegian travel YouTuber and filmmaker, but I'm currently been living here in the Philippines for the past year due to what's going on in the world. I got stuck here on a travel with my fiance of loving it, and we decided to do something special with this year. Since everybody was kind of in the same position, we thought to ourselves, why don't we double down on something that we always wanted to do, create a brand from the ground up. And we actually ended up starting two e-commerce brands. If you're new to the concept of e-commerce, it's basically anything you can sell online, physical goods, digital services, or a service in general. You know, the whole process we went through with this is just crazy. Because the simple solution is going online to a drop shipping store, giving them a cut, and then they will take care of everything. They will have the t-shirts ready for you. They will have the products ready for you. All you have to do is place your logo on it. But for us, we wanted to have a bigger involvement in the products that we're gonna sell to people. We want, we want to be 100% sure that the product you get is something we as creators can stand behind. And little did we know the whole journey we were going to embark on, on that little adventure and mission of ourselves. Now I feel super accomplished right now, one year later. The constant battles you're going to run into and the constant walls you're going to hit. Despite, despite researching for hours and hours and days on days up on end, there's still going to be these situations that you could never predict. This one hidden fee, this company you have to create, this registration permit you need. And those are things that's going to hit you in the face. But in the end, once it's all done, as long as you don't uh, push yourself too close to a deadline, you're going to be fine. And that's basically what we did. We've come to the end of this journey. And in this little vlog, I'm going to take you around the last week before our launch of the merch brand. And yeah. Enjoy the video. I also want to thank Sen for being the sponsor of today's video. This is a super relevant collaborator when we're in the world of e-commerce. I'm going to talk about the three benefits later if you stick around in this video. But basically, Sen is an online shopping card connected to an app to bring you Zen to your online shopping. Wow. All right, guys, let's get on with that vlog. Guys, I realized before we jump into the vlog, I have to give you a little bit of context. So if you're new to me, my name is Martin and I have a fiance, Ava Loving It. We're both YouTubers. Her dream has always been to start a bikini brand while together we started the merch brand called Marvicada. Now I'm currently standing in the HQ, which is kind of our fulfillment center for the bikinis. Uh, and we've been spending the last month just getting this operational set up. So at the beginning of this vlog, I'm gonna take you shopping as we are kind of finding all the items that we needed for the HQ. Right now we are here in Glorieta 2, a big mall in Manila, and we're gonna to try to buy a couch for Sofa bed. the HQ. With my brother. With brother Love. Now we're gonna visit a department store called Landmark, like a little Ikea, I don't even really know. I wish IKEA was in the Philippines. It hasn't really arrived yet. Yeah, they say it's gonna open this year, but you never know. Okay. Kinda reminds me of IKEA. Look at all this stuff everywhere. Ah, makes me want to start a family, get an apartment, settle down. But no, I'm gonna travel a little bit more. We're gonna travel a little bit more. <laughs> Guys, it's the sit test. You know, if you're working hard hours at the HQ, you could still sleep there.
keep coming back to this one guys it's just the most comfortable option yeah i think i think that i think that's the best one it's a nice length and it's also shorter so it fits the space better like these guys are so wide okay i feel accomplished now i'll look for a cabinet yeah let's find a cabinet We have decided on a sleeping bed and a cabinet, but while we're getting the stock, it's going to take about 20 minutes. Uh, we have decided that we want to go eat. Also figured out that don't do their delivery, order Lala Move on your phone. They come and pick it up instantly, and to deliver all of that far, far away is 600 pesos. Pretty good deal. And our couch is ready. Oh, they've now gathered them. Kave, are you excited? Yes, we have a new sofa bed and <laughs> closet. Yeah. Wow, are we alone? Yes. This is our small first apartment. Time. Yes, here comes the department boys. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> and here is our Lala Move boys. So these guys actually offer the transportation service back to our place. Guy, we're moving into a new apartment. The boys from Lala move. Yeah. Guys, we made it. We got it into the HQ. <laughs> okay, guys. Since we now had the HQ set up, there are things that have been going on parallel in the background while we've been doing a lot of things. So producing the whole shirts with the manufacturer probably took six months. Just emailing back and forth, figuring out exactly the type of sizes we wanted because it's a customized t-shirt. This is not something you can buy anywhere. This has been sued from the ground up by Filipinos here in Manila. So I'm, I'm super stoked about that whole process and everything we learned from it. It's basically our design, which you really, I mean, you can find similar things, but this is the unique kind of type of measurements that we made. Right after we moved into the HQ, they called us and said, hey, all your t-shirts are now ready and we want you to come over and have a look. I guess that's a very important part about e-commerce, which I learned, is if you have the ability to visit your manufacturer, please do so. Because as we went there, we also figured out a couple of defects, you know, like it's nothing is ever going to go Perfect. That's what I realized. Let's jump in and see how that was. Hello. guys my eyes are so bad I can't tell the difference not unless I feel it so he's doing all the quality check because I can't trust myself with this one so thanks Martin <laughs> it's your girl I'm loving it <laughs> hey guys we're done with all of the black shirts and now let's proceed to the white one interesting experience to review the, your shirts that you know you're going to be selling. Yeah. Uh, this was my first time ever doing something like Same. this. Yeah. Visiting a factory and expecting thousand t-shirts only. Mm. I had no idea that a thousand t-shirts would look that much. Like it's, <laughs> it's a lot of shirts when you see it in front of yeah. you. 
and we carefully inspected every single t-shirt. We found a few defects but I think it's best that we found out about it now instead of later on where we've already launched it and yeah. also to make sure all of the shirts are in good quality. Exactly because we want you guys to when you get your shirt and you're excited we want you to be get happy a, you know get be super happy about it so uh yeah no i feel like uh we have a very trustworthy manufacturer yeah. now i'm happy about the whole thing and uh soon soon guys <laughs> i'm very happy right now like that was a big uh, burden of my shoulders okay guys i'm now going to talk about today's sponsor sen which is an online banking card connecting to an app just listen to this I mean, they already had me at that melody. When I heard that melody, I was like, this is quality right here. Okay. Guys, if you've ever done shopping online, e-commerce, if you have shopped at AliExpress or Alibaba, even Amazon in a foreign country, you don't want to miss this, okay? I'm going to talk about three benefits to why you should try this app. I'm also going to give you a free 120 days trial if you check out the link in the description below, okay? There's going to be a code there. I'm gonna sign in with my private password. So you guys are familiar with different type of apps that people are using, you can top off. Uh, but what Sen is offering you is to give you a physical and a digital card. So when you shop online, if you shop through their card, there's gonna be benefits or benefits that you're gonna get, okay? Guys, benefit number one being that there is a one year automatic warranty that's being applied to electronics if you're purchasing things through their card. Well, that's great. For example, as me, I'm constantly purchasing new electronics. Recently, my MacBook broke down. I was like, shit, there's a lot of money that you have to spend if you don't have the necessarily warranties on these things. So that's a great benefit. Already there. It's, it's already amazing. But let's jump to benefit number two, which is the Zen Care. And this is a great thing that they're offering. They're basically allowing you to immediately get refunded your money if something goes wrong, meaning you don't have to deal with the customer services of the electronic stores that you're buying through. Send just takes completely care of this for you, refunding your money straight off the bat, and they have a much higher successful rate of getting things processed than what you as an individual person can do with, you know, this hustling, hassling customer services around the world. Now the third benefit is that there are zero fees to using the card when you're shopping online through places like Alibaba and AliExpress. Next time if you shop online and you don't use an app like this, I promise you if you look carefully on your bank statement you will see that there is fees associated to those purchases, like a small little amount. Now if you use Zen, this won't be a problem for you. Alright, amazing. I think it's a pretty good sponsor for what we're talking about today. Let's move on with the vlog and I really hope that this little tip about this app is going to solve some issues that you might be having. All right, let me know in the comments below and don't forget that there is a promo code 120 days free trial. That can't go wrong. We're rolling. All right, we're rolling. We're happy today. We're having a good time. All right, let's keep watching. Guys, we are back at the HQ today and we've decided that we're going to try to set up the big cabinet. We're aligning everything around inside the HQ. Luckily, they came with numbers and we have somewhat what can be uh, described as a instruction manual. So, uh, brother loving it, I'm going to leave this to you. I'll go outside and have a pizza and then... Dog, I will help you. I'm going to charge you more than this guy. <laughs> For this. And Sarah is with us today. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Sarah is currently going over all the Hubadera bikinis right here, making sure that the stock is what it says on the web page because we might have lost a little bit of track there. But, all right, let's do this. So to give a little bit of context here, we do have an international following. So we wanted to offer a good shipping rate for the entire world, which is proven to be very, very difficult. I don't know if you've ever tried to ship something abroad. It can be very expensive. Like the normal rates out there is to ship one t-shirt 
can cost you like $60 as a private person to ship from the Philippines to the United States. One of our biggest demographic countries are in the, Fil in the Philippines and in the United States. So we needed to find some middle ground here. How can we uh, afford to give our, our customers great shipping rates both in the United States and in the Philippines? And that's kind of a little bit of a business secret because this took me half a year to figure out. I really believe that that's a very successful formula for doing e-commerce is to figure out how to offer your customers great international rates. Otherwise, people are just gonna abandon their cart up on checkout. So what we did as a promo for the Philippines, because we knew we had the shirts here, is that we wanted to offer them free shipping if they bought the shirt within the first week. And that was actually a really cool concept because a lot of people actually ended up supporting us with that. And we also wanted to do that because it doesn't make sense for us to ship our t-shirts to a centralized warehouse somewhere else in the world for it to then just to be shipped back. This way we could get a hands-on experience of what the whole fulfillment process is of e-commerce. And let's have a look at that. Guys, I am so excited. We just received all the shirts from people in the Philippines that's ordered the first week. So what we're gonna do now is fulfill all the orders for the Philippines because when we launched a web page, since everything is produced here in the Philippines, we actually had a small promo going on where if you ordered in the Philippines before Feb 5th, you would get free shipping and you will get your t-shirt instantly. Pretty exciting journey. I never thought I was gonna see myself doing this, actually fulfill our own uh, e-commerce products, but I'm super excited about it. And I also think that it's very important to learn what goes into the whole shipping, like every step of it. Because after this, for all our international orders, it's going to be automated out of a, out of a warehouse. Appreciate this, let's go. Cutting the thank you cards on seed papers. Yes. <laughs> nice. Eco friendly. Full workshop <laughs> in the Hubadera HQ. Okay, on to step two, which is packaging. And uh, since we are doing this ourselves, these first orders, Ava wanted to prepare something special. So take us through what you have uh, got going here. Yeah, so I have these like dry leaves. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And that's going to be in one of the packaging. Nice. Also saw you bought something else. Yeah, that the Smartakata is all about like ocean lovers, beach lovers, <laughs> travelers, dreamers. Yes. So we wanted to do something special for these first orders. So thank you to everyone that purchased thank on that pre-sale. That's gonna look so nice. I really hope when people receive that uh, they're happy. <laughs> this is all Ave, guys. <laughs> really nice. The first package <laughs> for Maria Angelica Geronimo. Wow, thank you so much, Maria. We hope you are happy with the package. Yes. On to the next ones. Okay, guys, now that you've seen everything that went into that, I just wanna give a big shout out to Ave because I'd never dealt with any of this before. Both her and her sister had done like, shipping before, especially her sister, Rain. Big shout out to her. And you know, she just knew exactly what to do. I was just there as an expect, ex spectator. We were looking at what she was doing and it was, uh, it was very, very interesting. And I'm so happy we did it because we learned so much. Everything from weight to packaging, papers, thank you cards. There's, there's a lot of things that goes into it. So just, you know, keep that in mind. You know what, I, I realized I didn't really answer the title of this video, which is, was it harder than expected? Yes, 10 times harder than expected. It was really, at some point, I was ready to give up. Like, it was a nightmare. The type of walls we would constantly hit, because we wanted actually to launch our e-commerce back in, I think it was, April. Now we're in February, so that's almost like seven months later. And that's... I think a big part of it, when you're getting into something new, I, I guess everybody can relate to starting in a job for the first time. It's, it's a million impressions that comes to you at once and you don't really have enough leftover energy. And like every time I try to get something, they told me, oh no, if you want this permit, you need this permit. And if you want that permit, you need to have done this first. And it was just constantly battle with trying to arrange everything. But in the end, guys, it's 100% worth it when you reach the finish line. And don't forget that. The way I deal with this is I set myself small goals, which is gonna lead to the big goal. And that's the only way I'm able to really 
accomplish my things and to reach my goals is to have those mini goals. I'm gonna jump back to me standing over there and finish this vlog. <laughs> we are so thankful to everybody that has decided to support the brand so far. And you know, it, it's been a little bit of a challenge that we can't really ship to our international customers yet because the entire production is going to be shipped across uh, the ocean to a centralized warehouse. But still people, um, they believe in the brand and they believe in the mission behind it, which I think is a very important thing that, you know, we don't want, it's just not a t-shirt, it's, it's the message behind also that it's appealing to people. I guess e-commerce, it's kind of a international phenomenon, uh, but you have to make sure that you research the regulations and laws of your country. What we figured out here in the Philippines is that it's a lot harder, for example, to start an e-commerce business here than it would have been in the United States or in Norway. What we actually ended up doing is setting up businesses in different countries to make sure we could comply with the laws that were needed and the regulations. I would say the best tips I can give you if you want to start e-commerce is to know your market, know exactly where you're gonna ship and then start to research and just cross that list. Go, 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 go down and you'll figure it all out in the end. Honestly guys, as a YouTuber, influencer, I've been a creative director, a filmmaker, I've been dealing with other people and hustling uh, to get clients for 10 years. So to be able to build a brand from the ground up and actually be involved in every minute and second I spend on this thing, I know it's gonna come back to me, which is a new type of uh, very, very nice feeling, honestly, for someone that's been dealing with clients for 10 years. Because constantly hustling to please other people uh, in terms of client relationships can be very, very demanding, uh, take the toll on you. And especially now during these times, people weren't really open to receive emails like before. Our way of starting these e-commerce businesses was also a little answer to what's been going on in the world. You know, try to adapt, try to, how can we spend our time the best right now? I really hope that this vlog inspired some of you, especially if you're living here in the Philippines. It's possible, guys. Go ahead, do it. And, um, you know, I'm also excited to share this story. This is kind of my third attempt to start a company. I'm kind of a little of a serial entrepreneur, don't really know exactly where I'm gonna head up, but I feel like e-commerce is the right direction and kind of also the direction the global market is heading in. So that's it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video for me. It's a little bit different. Usually I make travel vlogs, but I'm also very interested in the business aspects. So if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments so that I know if, if this is appealing to my audience, if you guys like it, and if you wanna know more about the next steps we're gonna take with Marvicada, with Huvadera, if you guys wanna be involved in all of this, please let me know. Also wanna give a huge shout out to our Patreon community, to everybody that's decided to support me and Ava on a monthly basis. We're also giving a lot of information over there, which we normally don't show on the vlogs. Things that, you know, we kind of feel private, some camera roll photos, some exclusive videos. If you guys are interested, check out the link in the description. Get yourself a t-shirt if you believe in the dream. And I don't know, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Guys, thank you so much again for watching. I will see you guys on another country. It's gonna be my first time to travel to this country. We're leaving tomorrow, by the way. So uh, yeah, thank you again so much for watching. Bye-bye.